Hello, we're excited to announce the preview of Vulnerability Management, a feature inside of Insight and Central to help you identify, prioritize, and remediate vulnerabilities rapidly and continuously across your endpoints. Let's take a quick look at the preview as it is today. So first we can see this is built on our modern interface from our Ecoverse backend, which also means rapid innovation and rapid features being deployed out. We've got our vulnerability ID, the asset that's affected, the threat status, whether it's resolved or not, our severity, CVSS score, as well as the products. We can filter down on which applications. Now, there's over 800 applications that we support to identify uh, CVEs and vulnerabilities across them. Uh, we're, we're starting with vulnerabilities on applications. We'll be adding in Mac and Linux as, as we go, as well as bringing in all of the operating system vulnerabilities into a single view. In addition, we've got features like uh, being able to see when it was first detected, when it was last updated, when was that vulnerability published? So we can make sure that we're, we're not carrying vulnerabilities for too long and we're managing our security posture correctly. We'll be able to adjust the view so that we're looking at only the data that we want to see. Now, let's take a quick use case on what we want to do. We want to create a list that allows us to prioritize exactly what we want to address and remediate right away. So first, we'll start with our threat status, and we'll make sure that that's unresolved. And then we're going to add in our severity. And I want to pay attention only to the critical and important severities. And so we'll filter down for those, and we'll hit apply. What's amazing about this is now we've got our priority list that's usually like a security operations function, but it's sitting right inside the same view, the same uh, place, built directly into your IT management and endpoint management operations, where now you've got this list. We want to make this list go to zero. So when we look forward to the future, we will see things like, uh, is there a patch available? And we can actually remediate directly from inside this console. Uh, further, we'll be able to identify inside of these CVEs, and we'll be able to click on this, and we're going to see this shortly, uh, of the CVEs and its details and a ton of information that helps you identify what's really happening under the hood. So jump into the preview of vulnerability management. We've got a lot of things coming. So let's take a look at some of the cool things on the roadmap, and we'll show some screens that are preview uh, that aren't quite there yet, but are coming soon. As we look to the future for what's next for vulnerability management, we've got a couple things that we want to share with you. First off, here you can see the CVE details on the right-hand side. This is going to provide you a lot of information about uh, the source, uh, about the first date that was detected, how old this vulnerability is, and some other threat insights like the CVSS score, the EPSS score. Is there a patch? Are there exploit kits available that makes it easier for threat actors to take action? So we'll be able to see these amazing details for the CVE. Additionally, we're going to be able to see all of the detections in one place. So we're going to see the asset name will be linking to those devices so you can grab and move to the next one um, and go to that single uh, device to take action. We'll be adding in a risk score as well as uh, in, you know enhancing that threat status to see whether it's exploitable or, or what's involved there um, in addition to zero day exploits. We'll also have a full screen to help manage the remediation. So we'll be able to see the threat overview, the, the number of exposed assets, the affected software that's uh, affected by this CVE, as well as remediation actions that you might be taking in the history of everything that you've been doing. Uh, so you can really help manage that posture and really understand what is the priority and what are we doing to take the steps to make sure that we're safer and really help comply with compliance and even cyber insurance. Finally, we'll be building this directly into the assets view. So look for a new column in the assets view as we move forward where we can see at, on our devices, do we have a vulnerability? It, what's its status of vulnerability? And even what's the status of patch management as they go hand in hand uh, with vulnerability management to understand the remediation versus what's detected. So hop inside our new vulnerability management preview. Uh, there's a share feedback button that we encourage you to hit and give us your feedback. Tell us what you think. What do we need to prioritize next? Hopefully you'll be jumping into Insight and Central soon to be able to see this amazing vulnerability management preview built directly in full cycle management to help you identify, 
prioritize and remediate vulnerabilities. Thank you so much.